Hello, thank you for joining me. Happy New Year. It's New Year's Day 2023. I've come out for a drive in my larder. I've come to the Chinon Princess Ridge Railway. Here I am at Chinon Station. The train is just there. We're going to have a look at that in a minute. The reason I'm here today is because I've been invited to go and see the signal box at Princess Ridge, which, you know, I'm really quite excited about. So I understand we're going to go there and they're going to take me inside the signal box, show us around, maybe get some trackside access. So we'll see a bit more than the usual. Before we get, go and get on the train, I just want to show you something here in this, uh, this little wooded area. We have another railway. Look at this. A very short railway. It's a little miniature railway just here. And it runs to just up there. The, this is their statement of intent. The plan is to build a miniature railway around the car park. So when that's up and running, then I shall come and make an episode of Miniature Railway Britain here. So that's a video for the future. We're now going to go over to the station. That's where the cement box used to be over there. They used to be a, um, I don't think that car realises it, but this isn't actually a roadway. And uh, yeah, that's not a roadway. Anyway, um, we're going to go and have a look at the station. And yeah, over there, before I got distracted by that car, look, I'm going to reverse it now. A bit amusing. Um, the cement works used to be over there, that's what, that's where it was. And I remember that being there, there used to be a big chimney which they blew up. And then here is the station, Chinna Station. So there's the um, station and here is the Canyon Tank. Now it's this loco's last day here, 6412. She's going back to the South Devon Railway. So they're going to find another locomotive. So we'll have to wait and see what that is, but no doubt I'll have to come back and have a ride behind it, especially if it's a winning loco. So we walk here in front of the steam engine and then we'll go and get on the train. So there'll be diesel all there, we'll come back with the steam. So there is 6412. Exactly. And now we're going to go up onto the platform and see what we can see. Here's an old Cambrian coach body. That used to be the cafe, but it's currently not the cafe. There's a new cafe down at the other end. So there's our loco just there. You can see the steam heating's on in the carriages. So let's go inside and we're going to ride down to Princess Risborough. It's going to be a very exciting journey. So we've arrived at Princess Risborough. You can see the steam engine behind us. I know it's not the best view, but we'll have a better look later. Now, you may have noticed I am walking off the end of the platform. I've been given permission to do this. We've, um, one of the volunteers has very kindly given us permission to come down here and have a look at the signal box. So what we're going to do, we're going to walk down there um, with a few friends. So friends are ahead of us and one of the volunteers is showing us the way. So this is really quite exciting. I've seen this signal box so many times but I've never been inside. So I'm really excited about that. So this is there's the end of the Chilton Railways station at Princess Risborough. You can see there's the modern signal gantry. There's a more traditional signal. That little cross means it's not in use yet. So they're working on commissioning all this signalling down here. But what I'm going to do, once we get down further into the box, I'll um, find out a bit more and be able to tell you a bit more. So now a bit further down, there's a um, diesel uh, multiple units, a middle carriage. I remember when that was in service. It used to be the, the train which, you know, cleared all the um, leaves off the line. Now, here, here's Prince Rizborough box, which we're about to go up. Up there, there's a camera. It's rail cam. I don't know if any of you are members of rail cam, I am. You can watch the train go out, which was very useful a few weeks ago when it was snowing, because I could sit in the pub at Bledlow, and when I knew the train left, I went into the field and got my shots. Anyway, let's go up here. This is really exciting. So it's, um, yeah, I'm re really excited about this, to get this opportunity to, you know, go beyond where the public go. So we get to here, and uh, we get a really nice view now. Over the station. Oh, look, there's a Chilton Railways train pulling in. I'm going to go inside and um, see what they have to show us. Oh, she's got. <laughs> right. Try to avoid me because I'm having a bad day. Now, one of the. getting even better now. I've been given high vis. I've been given permission to go trackside. So we'll have a look in the box afterwards, but we get the shot of the train going past from a view we wouldn't normally get. So this is a really exciting start to 2023.
So I've been able to come up the track a little bit. You can see where I am. I'm at milepost quarter. So milepost zero is by the signal box. So that is looking towards Chinna. I'm actually standing on what would be the Chinna independent line. That track there is a network rail line, but at weekends Chinna has possession of it. They have permission to run their train on it. The plan is to eventually, because network rail does occasionally use it. There was um, a while ago, an HS2 construction train failed and it got dumped in here. The plan is this, where I'm standing, this will become the Turin Prince Risborough Railway's independent track and that will become Network Rail. So they'll run in parallel to each other, a bit like they do at the Spa Valley Railway but um, into Erich. So they're going to come up with a similar arrangement. Now, the signal there, that signal is a, uh, a Network Rail signal, ME174. So when we came in, I noticed it was red like that, but the driver didn't pass a red signal because that, just the side of it, you can't really see it now. But there were two little white lights. So that was to give the driver permission to turn off, so he wouldn't go down the short main line towards Marrow Bone. He would turn off into the bay platform at Fringe's Risper. Now there's a bridge there, you can see the other people with me who've got the special line side access. Just having a look there. In there is the Urkel factory. So that's where furniture's made. Princess Risper and High Wycombe were quite well known for being furniture manufacturing towns. And Urkel moved their furniture production here. To Princess Rizbra. So I'm going to walk back up the track and we're going to go and have a look at the signal box. Oh, we're almost back now. There's the box. I pointed out a quarter of a mile away, mile post a quarter. There is mile post zero. And you get quite a nice view of the Princess Rizbra railway station. And now we're going to go and have a look in Princess Rizbra North signal box. Back in the signal box, there goes the Chiltern Railways, class 168 departing, so it's really nice getting this view up here in the box. I stand here all day and watch trains, perhaps I should have been a signal box. And there's a 165 in the station. Now what we're going to do, I'm going to show you down this end of the signal box. You can see here is some of the levers. Now, I don't know too much about the levers, but here we have Paul. So Paul's going to tell us a little bit about the, the levers here. So. Hello there, yeah, my name's Paul. I'm what we call the PIC PR here on the Chinner and Princess Risborough Railway. Uh, person in charge, Princess Risborough. So I'm like the fat controller, if you like, <laughs> of, uh, of Princess Risborough. Um, not only am I in charge, but I'm also the signalman for, for the movements in Chinner. And if you come over here a bit, you can see we've got a long run of levers. I think there was 127 levers in the signal box. Um, at the moment, we only use these few here, between 35 and 40. You'll see each lever's numbered. And uh, on this particular one, uh, because we use token working here on the Chinna branch, which is out with the locomotive, that's the authority for the loco to be out on the branch. When he arrives here, I collect the token. You may have seen pictures of uh, token exchanges between the driver and the signalman. There's a hoop, and he puts it over my arm, and I get the token. That token's like a big key, which then fits into this lever down here. There's a hole in there. When I put the key in there and turn it, that releases lever 40, which I pull over, and then the other points and signals are available to me uh, to control the trains, which here is normally the movement would be a run around, so the steam engine would arrive on the front and we, it would then run around to what was the back and then go out back towards Chinna. Uh, if we have a look at the, cross, the crossover and the track arrangement here at Chinna, the train comes, sorry, from Chinna to two Princess Risborough, past the signal box, into the platform there, and then the loco comes off, uh, heads down here towards the siding, and then comes back up the loop line to this head shunt, and then comes back across to the platform. You'll see we use bell working here. Um, we haven't actually got the tokens connected to the bells, but we use the bells to get the signalman used to the bell codes and, uh, and working with the bells for future developments. Um, so that's the 
that's a sort of brief summary of what we do here at Princess Rest. Well, thank you very much. Yeah. Thank you. That, that was great. It was very interesting. I think soon the train's going to be back, so I'm going to go down. But, yeah, thank you very much for yeah, telling nice me to, all nice about it. You. And there's a view looking out at the levers. So, following Paul's excellent explanation of how the signal box works, I'm back down at ground level again. Chilton main lines there. You see various parts of the signal box. We're going to go and look at downstairs now. So there we go. There's the, the line towards Chinna. We're going in here. So they've given me permission to come in here and show you what it's like in below the downstairs floor. So here we are. We're inside now. You can see all these levers hanging down. They're parts of the signal. Now, as Paul said, not all of it was in use. If we go to this end, you can see the levers and wires coming down there's the pulley wheels and then they go along and outside to control the signals and points what we're going to do we've got this little ladder here and we're going to have a look at the intermediate floor where we can see some of the interlocking so this is quite exciting so we're just getting up here i've never didn't even realize it was an intermediate floor we have a look here see all how the interlockings work so i don't quite know exactly now, but basically, if these slide this way, they slide that way. So there's this myth. A lot of people think that signalman can pull two levers and make two trains crash. You can't. If you set a route to go for a train, you can't then set another route for a train to crash into it. It would be interlocked. So that's what interlocking is. So here we are on the intermediate floor of the signal box. Just see out there. The Yerkel, well, you can't really see, but over there is the Yerkel, is the Yerkel factory. So what I'm going to do now, I'm probably going to head back to the station and soon our train shall arrive. So, following our exciting visit to the signal box, they've now said they're going to take me down the south siding. So I'm keeping my high vis on. There's a few interesting items of rolling stock we're going to have a look at down there. So we're now almost back in, in amongst the Budliers, back to the end of the Chilton Railway Station. So we've got to go right through the station and down the other end. This is the south sidings, that's the Chilton main line, that's looking down towards London that way. The latest T Power car here. I remember seeing that arrive. If you want to see the video of that arriving here, have a look at the link on the screen now. We have a guard slam here and we have no free shunter. Not yet have this local at all, not going to get it today, but maybe next year at the Eagle Gala, it runs some public services. I have to come and have a ride behind that because um, I've had most of their locos which they've got now for hauling. Now there's something quite interesting from old heritage stock. We have something here that's not old and not heritage, something modern. It's a wagon. There's actually two of them. These are the new wagons for London Transport. They're here to be tested. So they're just here for a little bit of time and they're doing various tests on days when the railway's not open to the public. So if you have a look, um, yeah, they get quite a nice view there of the of the O3 Shanta, the HST. So I think the HST power car is pulling them. It seems really ironic an HST pulling these wagons. But if you have a look, I've noticed, yeah, so look, it says made in China in 2019. Um, here's a, a plate there. So that is this wagon's. I don't do wagon numbers, I don't really do carriage numbers, but that is this wagon's identity. So that was uh, another exciting thing to see. What I'm going to do down there, I'm going to head back to the station because I think soon my train to take me back to China will arrive. So I'm going to walk up the side of the track and catch that train. back at Chinna Station, so I'm going to go back to my larder and drive off home. Really enjoyed it here, I really appreciate them giving me the access to the signal box at Princess Ridge, but that was great. I do really like Chinna Station. One day what I'll do is I'll come here and I'll make a video on more detail on Chinna Princess Ridge Railway, perhaps look at the station here, maybe even have a look at the line beyond, because the line, once upon a time, used to continue that way to Watlington. Might one day get to Aston Rome. Whether it'll get beyond there, I don't know, because you've got the M40 in the way. But that is Chinna Yard down there. And then there is our locomotive that we've ridden behind today. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Once again, thank you very much to the Chinna Princess Risborough Railway for allowing me to have a look in the single box at Princess Risborough. Happy New Year to all of my viewers. 
we're going to make a lot more interesting videos during the course of 2023 and beyond. So thank you very much for watching. Please do feel free to like, subscribe and comment. Goodbye.